The future is diverse. The future is blessed by so many children. I met today a little 13-year-old girl who was, uh, and then a high school student who was going on to college. Uh, the hope that they have, the confidence that they were given by the mission they would come at centers is not only good for them, not only good for our community. President Biden has announced his new plan that would help millions of people, especially senior citizens, that are facing financial difficulties right now. Democrats and Republicans have worked together to propose a new bill that would increase SSI benefits for many. President Biden's newly announced plan to address the housing affordability crisis has given millions of people a reason to celebrate. President Biden's plan will help slow the nationwide increase in rent. The plan will also increase the supply of affordable housing, which will help more low-income families stay in their homes. In addition, the Biden administration wants to make housing more accessible for those currently experiencing homelessness and provide substantial savings to taxpayers. Biden's goal is to tackle inflation and increasing housing stock is the perfect place to start. Across the country, there is an estimated housing supply deficit of 3.8 million homes, which has severe economic consequences, including driving, including driving inflation and exacerbating the homelessness crisis. Homelessness creates massive social, social and economic costs for American cities and families. President Biden's action to reduce housing costs by investing in the development of affordable housing will enable more cities to continue moving unhoused individuals directly into permanent housing. Biden's proposed investment in housing would start to undo devastating impacts of past short-sighted and fiscally irresponsible divestment in investments in housing programs, restoring programs that once prevented Americans from falling into homelessness. Unfortunately, according to Fox, more senior citizens are living on the streets. Homeless agencies across the country say it's an alarming new trend because of rising rents and inflation. A study led by the University of Pennsylvania estimated the number of elderly people experiencing homelessness will nearly triple by 2030, reaching over 100,000. Older people who are homeless also tend to have so so smaller social security checks. That is why many economists and lawmakers are pushing for legislation that would increase the monthly benefit checks that many seniors receive. The average monthly social security retirement payment as of December was around $1,700. So hopefully President Bonnie could do something about this. The SSI program provides disabled people with limited income with financial help, but its strict asset limits have not been updated since 1989. Senator Brown has said during an interview with CNBC News, it doesn't make sense for SSI rules to punish Americans for saving for emergencies. Our bipartisan bill would update the outdated rules for the first time in decades and allow beneficiaries to save for emergencies without putting the benefits they rely on to live at risk. Plan to match your vision. Uh, we were able to get, whether we get $2 million for next, in next year's funding bill to renovate the child care center in the Mission and in the Bayview. Thank you for investing. In the <laughs> to touch the lives of even more families in a brighter way. Let me just say this because we've talked about the mayor's office, the governor's office, President Biden. Everybody recognizes. Uh, that the, this, where, where the policy meets the people, where it hits the road, is where we need to put our support. And that's why last year the House passed legislation with 228,000 affordable housing units in California. Much of that for the governor's office, the mayor's office, the supervisors and all, to distribute guaranteed preschool for three to four year olds, preschool and a good paying job. So again, with the past American Dream and Promise Act, we again recognize the reinvigoration of America and the newcomers are to our country. Some have been, some of you have been here many more generations than my Italian American family, some newcomers, all a part of a brilliant future. I just want to say this to all of you. Do we turn our backs on struggling work? Every person in America and around the world would like to live long and happy and productive lives. One-time stimulus checks are coming your way. President Biden is advocating for more financial assistance, whether it be for those that have college debt, or even the seniors and Social Security beneficiaries. Senate Democrats want to make some big changes to Social Security very, very soon. And here's some new information that is important for those of you that are on Social Security. If Joe Biden's new tax proposal goes through, people who earn more than 400 grand will be subject to the 3.8% Medicare tax. Biden's campaign called for applying Social Security payroll taxes to those making 400000 and up. This year, wages of up to $142,000 are subject to that tax, which is 6.2% of wages for both workers and employers. That is a significant amount of money that would help out Social Security. 
because according to new estimates, the trust funds that support Social Security are running dry and may be tapped out in less than 20 years. Biden has already called for the increased levies to help pay for proposed benefits and including raising the minimum Social Security benefit to at least 125% of the federal poverty level. Other lawmakers have expressed their support for Social Security reform, as millions of people, especially seniors, push Congress to send out 200 bucks a month in a monthly benefit boost to Social Security benefits. Elizabeth Warren, for instance, highlighted what she said is a need for Social Security, or SI. While well, SSI's original goal was to ensure that no senior person with a disability would have income below poverty level, Warren argued that outdated rules have trapped 4 out of 10 recipients in poverty. According to Senator Warren, SSI is an important lifeline for 8 million low-income seniors and people with disabilities. It's outdated, it's outdated rules squeeze too many struggling families out of the program and trap many, and trap many recipients in poverty. The average monthly SSI benefit is actually below $600, which will keep many elders in poverty. Therefore, to make ends meet, an SSI recipient might actually have to consider working despite disability, their age, or need to care for our children with disability. Now, the most a recipient can earn an in income before losing benefits is $65 a month. Additionally, collecting more than $20 a month in Social Security will reduce, would reduce SSI benefits. SSI beneficiaries are not allowed to have more than two grand in savings, including in retirement accounts. Married recipients also receive lower SSI benefits and have additional asset limits. SSI recipients can even be punished for receiving groceries from a friend or housing from family. Senator Warren concluded by calling for the passage of the SSI Restoration Act. In addition to leading this bill, Senator Warren called for an increase to Social Security and disability benefits at the start of the crisis, including unveiling a plan to increase by 200 bucks a month the Social Security veterans and SSI beneficiaries. And I agree with Senator Warren on this one. Friends, President Biden also said in Virginia that he was trying to make the case for lowering prescription prices, which will ultimately help ease inflation. The Biden administration has argued that lowering the prescription costs will ease one of the largest financial burdens that many American families, especially seniors, face. Lower prescription prices is a key price, key piece of President Biden's agenda in a climate package which he's negotiating. In addition to allowing Medicare to negotiate the prices of certain costly medications, the Build Back Better would also impose penalties if companies increase their prices faster than inflation. It would also redesign Medicare's Part D plans so that seniors and people with disabilities would not pay more than two grand for medication. Biden also highlighted the bill would cap what Americans pay for insulin at about $35 a month. So although the prescription measures would save around $297 billion, including $79 billion, from allowing Medicare to negotiate prices, a coalition of more 